Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But they scared it away. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and got badly hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south, to the distant homeland of their Papa Wolf. No way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Scored it at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. Man. I suck at perspective. I should take a class. I'm 
man. Dad would fucking kill me if he found this. So he better not find it. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this when school starts. Lila keeps hooking me up with birthday gifts. She's more excited than I am. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this when school starts. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Looking... Ugh, kind of lame. Swipe left. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. Man, I suck at perspective. I should take a class. They're probably going to bury me in this thing. Wish I had more time to play. Unless we're summer school. Oh, no time for this. Where are you? Dad got in trouble for his last barbecue. Hope he does it again, so I can come this time. I would have been pissed if I was there. Oh, asshole. Sucks to be Daniel, but he can't bug me all the time.
Maybe he's invisible now? Of course. Like, I want to play fucking hide and seek. Hmm. Isn't Daniel too old for bedtime stories? Who would have thought playing Minecraft would get him back to his blocks? Got this for a girl in the eighth grade. Thought I chickened out. I used to play with these at Ellery's. Man, I feel old. Gift from Lila. <laughs> Daniel never got so close to proposing to her. Too bad we didn't have a clue she hated all of us. This thing is so cheap and ugly. I love it. So lucky Noah lives downtown. Else they'd drive me crazy 24 7. Man, my brother's a little player. Lila loves it. Ooh, Dad confiscated the play box after that. Daniel was a total rage ball. What is he making with all that crap? Did this for Daniel's birthday. He was so happy with it. Okay, I'm done. Where the fuck? <sighs> Sorry, Andrew. I'm the free babysitter now. Daniel is psyched, but I'd rather just go with Lila and the crew. Whoa, hold on. <gasps> to stay out of my room. Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? Are you listening now? Thou shall not enter thy brother's room. What the fuck? Nice job. You started it, butthole. What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! We were just goofing around, Dad. I swear. He started it. He always gets mad He's at He's totally me. lying. You little... Enough! Uh, you both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything. Uh-huh. 
Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid. It's bullshit. Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? <sighs> Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? <sighs> Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I know that. And I do look out for him, I swear. But he's a little brat. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay. I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him. Like you are now. Yes, <laughs> says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. See you tonight, kids. Be nice and don't break anything. Elves. Dad thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. Listening. La 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 la. I Come don't on, hear dude. anything. La la la. Oh, you kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. <sighs> Leave me alone! Whoa. Don't know who drew this, but it's totally rad. Hey, Daniel. Why are you pouting? A young space warrior should never pout. We need to stand strong against the enemy. Come on, man. I'm running out of punchlines here. Why are you still here? And don't touch my stuff. Oh, I forgot about Bobby the Yeti. <laughs> I brought it back from that field trip to Vancouver. I mean, who does that? Other than a super cool big brother. Ah, he's right, Daniel. You should totally forgive him. See? I'm not saying it. Bobby does. <laughs>
Sean, I'm gonna tell on you. I mean... Pam, haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. Poor robot. No battery. Duh. Come on. Go away. Oh, now you can hear me? Hey. That's cool. Did you make it? Be careful. <laughs> Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly, you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay, if I sit down. So, when did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself. Since you're not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... I want to hang out with my friends sometimes. You're going to be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd get me one at the thrift store last week. You forgot, like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow, thanks, Sean. This is so cool. I'll keep it forever and ever.